so I usually make a video every week but um, there's been a massive amount of kind of backlash against the mini more guidelines recently on Tumblr and um, I there's a blog that's kind of like basically just dedicated to questioning the guidelines which is slightly ridiculous because you know if you don't want to do a method then why spend your time like just debunking it or whatever like why would you just spend all of your time um, dedicated towards proving it wrong if you've not chosen that method surely if you're going to be healthy about choosing a method you say no 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 yes to the one you want to do and focus on that like I'm not really sure why this person has decided to make a whole blog about it seems pretty pointless and annoying and petty um, I didn't bother looking at it lots of people sent me messages like what do you think about it I really don't give a shit like if that person doesn't agree with it that's cool like you don't have to agree with other people's methods of recovery um, but I'm not interested in looking at the site um, um, but I did see uh, somebody made a video about the minimal guidelines and why I don't think they work and um, I was watching it and of course everybody's entitled to their own opinion and they are you know if they don't want to follow a method that's fine um, but everything she said in the video just was completely misinformed and didn't make any sense and um, it kind of pissed me off because she was basically saying the same thing about people um, promoting the minimal guidelines that they didn't know what they were talking about and that it doesn't make sense but every every point against it actually um, didn't make sense at all um, this person who made the video actually isn't even in recovery so I don't even understand why on earth she thinks that anyone should listen to her when there are people who are doing the minimal guidelines who are in a really good place people in remission um, people doing better than ever before and then she isn't even in recovery and is um, slagging off the minimal guidelines it just doesn't make sense I mean yeah of course I, I don't mind if some people don't agree with the minimal guidelines they don't want to follow them that's fine but don't be giving advice to people about not following them when you're not in a place to do so whatsoever you're obviously not informed you're completely disordered you're not even in recovery what like you don't actually have a place to say that um, but you know I guess it's the internet anybody can say whatever the fuck they want um, and state their opinions anywhere and I guess y you know you have a right to free speech but um, you should be responsible about it <coughs> um, so this person was saying that the many more guidelines like people see them as a, a cure-all um, it's not a cure um, it stated that obviously you the minimal guidelines are not going to cure you of your eating disorder it's stated like all over the site pretty much um, that um, yeah that um, th that is focused too much on the food side of things and not about the mental recovery um, it stated in the minimal guidelines um, that you should be uh, working on the mental as, uh, as an aside that the minimal guidelines are for um, you know weight and health and that they do um, you know obviously gaining weight is going to heal your brain so it's going to be easier for the mental side but it's not a cure all and it is said that you should be um, working on the mental side alongside the minimal guidelines maybe with a with a therapist um, or a psychiatrist or, or someone you know anyone that's going to help you along with that side of things and it is stated that it does not you know just magically cure you so that point didn't make sense whatsoever uh, she stated that refeeding syndrome is not mentioned in it, and yes it is. Um, I learned everything about refeeding syndrome from Eurytopia. Um, and on Eurytopia, it is always, um, information is always given out. And um, it's never advised to go straight to minimums if you are, um, you know, very severely under eating etc etc um, yes I do agree with her that there are some people that are not um, they are half informed and not completely informed on tumblr who have gone off and they agree with the minimal guidelines which is great but then they have gone off and given the wrong information to people and that could be harmful if you don't know exactly what you're talking about you should not be giving advice I totally agree with her there um, because you could seriously end up 
really, really um, damaging somebody because refeeding syndrome is very, very serious. And, um, you know, you need to know exactly what you're talking about if you're going to be giving advice to people. Um, but that's not to do with the minimal guidelines. Minimal guidelines um, do talk about refeeding syndrome and um, it's other people that have been misinformed, they don't, they're not, uh, they don't know everything and they've gone off and given other people advice. That's not the uh, responsibility of uh, Gwyneth or um, anyone on the actual Eurotopia site. That is external people leaving and giving advice. Um, and I definitely agree that there should not be people not knowing what they're talking about giving advice. Um, she said there's no science behind it, but there's like a shitload of references, like everywhere, all over the site. And yes, they come from Eurotopia, but they link to all different types of research. But she did say that no doctors recommend them. Now, yeah, the mini -maud, um guidelines are um, not as popular as obviously some methods of recovery, but there are doctors that do recommend that and above amounts of calories to eat. There are dietitians who recommend the same. There are therapists that recommend the same. I have heard of people, I have talked to people who have had therapists, doctors, dietitians that have recommended um, the, and have read about the minimal guidelines and agree with them. The Morsley method is a different method but also agrees with them and there are other types of methods that are not the actual minimal guidelines but are around the same idea. Um, so yes it is a widely well, a maybe not widely, but it is an accepted um, form of recovery amongst a lot of people, um, professionals included. Um, she says that the set point theory is a theory for a reason. Um, theory in scientific terms is not the same as literature terms. Um, it doesn't. The word doesn't mean the same thing. A theory in scientific terms is something that is proven. Um, yes, the weight set point theory is a proven thing. Um, so yeah, you obviously misinterpreted the word uh, right there. Um, she also talks about being overweight and apparently everyone who does MM gets overweight, which is just complete bullshit. And um, she does say that the people she's seen, which is fair enough, but um, I know many, many, many people who have done the minimal guidelines and um, they are all varying different have stopped at different set points and they've all they're all completely different I know people that have stopped at BMI 19 people who have stopped at BMI 23 some 26 some 28 you know it's all completely varied like everybody's bodies are everybody is varied and different um, she also says that being overweight is unhealthy which is bullshit and everybody knows that the BMI is a load of crap and she says that it um, is not a load of crap and that for the average person um, it's correct but it's actually not, it's been proven to be not, it's widely widely accepted the BMI doesn't work at all um, and the uh, evidence has already gone out that people in the overweight category are actually living longer than any other category of uh, BMI so that really doesn't work and it just kind of and she mentioned straight afterwards her fear of uh, gaining weight and becoming overweight so um that basically just sums up everything really um someone who's not in recovery who's really really scared of gaining weight um talking about the many more guidelines and the possibility you know of not having control over your weight that just kind of says everything to me um but yeah, and then the last poem was about binging and about binging and purging and about how there's no such, uh, the many more guidelines think there's no such thing as binging and recovery. And to like pretty much 99%, I would say there is no binging and recovery. Obviously with binging and purging, that's a slightly different um, situation. I do understand that um, some people get caught in the restrictive, um, restriction then um, binging and then purging which is obviously a restrictive um, the, the binging is is reacting to the restriction and that's obviously um, that I agree with that that you know that that's um, that's not binging it's reactive eating but I do understand that some people with binging and purging do actually um, kind of plan binges of thousand 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 of calories of food um, with the intention of purging it and it's a more emotional thing it's more about um, stuffing yourself and then um, 
getting rid of something like purging your body and I understand that's more of a uh, emotional emotional thing but when you're in recovery and you stop uh, purging those binges will not happen um, uh, maybe they will happen for a bit but when, once you stop the purging um, because you're not getting the second half that release um, the binging urge will, will not happen um, and that's kind of the point so no really there isn't really like such thing as binging in recovery um, unless you have been doing that and then you will stop eventually because you're not do doing um, engaging in the uh, purging side of things so yeah um, that video didn't make sense at all but of course everybody's entitled to their own opinion that's fine but don't state things that aren't true at all especially when it comes to BMI and saying that there are things that are not mentioned on the site like refeeding so syndrome and um, that everybody does MM gets overweight stuff like that when it's not actually true at all um, that's it's not okay to just state these things like they're facts when they're actually not at all um, so yeah I got really annoyed about that I mean you know, I understand there's quite a lot of people who don't agree with the guidelines and um, they don't want to follow them and of course that's fine. Um, everybody recovers in their own way and whether I agree with them or not, it's not my like business to tell them to do another method. Um, I of course will advise someone to do the MM guidelines but if someone chooses a different path, um, then that's fine. They can go off and do that and um, just not be on my blog. Um, but to kind of tell people that one method is um, completely wrong and actually then make points against it that don't make sense. Um, it's quite damaging because the MM guidelines have saved so many people's lives, uh, mine included, and it's just not okay uh, to just say that they're a load of shit when they're not. And um, also, there was a blog mentioned, she didn't actually say the name of the blog, which is great because obviously I don't want to say the name either because I don't want, um, um, it, but she said that the girl was running a popular blog site and had been giving advice to her and she didn't know what she was talking about. I know exactly what blog she's talking about. The, the girl on the blog knows exactly what she was talking about. She actually was the person that got me to go to Utopia and she saved my life if I hadn't come across her blog. I could well be dead right now. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I obviously there's a lot of backlash against it at the moment, um, but I don't know, I guess um, there's backlash against anything that could be slightly controversial, um, and that doesn't really bother me. Um, what bothers me is that it might affect other people who aren't in recovery yet, or have only just started recovery, and are not like stable in their... Um, um, you know, like, <laughs> I can't even think of the right word. Um, stable in their decision or, like, their belief in something. My, I'm, I'm stable in my belief of the minimal guidelines. Um, and that's fine. I don't mind. Um, but other people aren't stable and that could really damage them if they're actually, you know, if minimal could have easily worked for them and then they see all this shit that's going across Tumblr and then um, it damaged their recovery efforts and... I just think that's going to be really tragic if that happens, um, but there we go. Um, another thing I read on the internet was that they say that many more guidelines is like way too black and white, um, but the thing is, is like when you are in recovery, what you need is black and white, um, because if you leave any gap or crack for your eating disorder, it will come in and it will manipulate everything you're doing. So when you come to like doing recovery, Every, the recovery needs to be black and white. The, the the rules for yourself need to be black and white because if you leave any room for like doubt or um, or any room for um, going around and in between the rules, your eating disorder will latch onto that and it will continue to manipulate them till you're not doing them at all. And um, that is why people need a black and white um, thing for recovery. In remission, things are slightly different. Things are not just black and white and completely rigid. Um, 
but in recovery that is something that people need because yeah as I said otherwise their eating disorder will start manipulating the situation and take control of it again um, so yes yes the minimal guidelines can be very black and white they need to be black and white it's what people need um, and of course when you reach remission things m might be uh, slightly different things aren't as rigid um, but you you will find find that when you come to it and then it will be you know you'll know when you come to that part um, but yeah okay so yeah basically everybody who's been asking me about this uh, particular blog I don't give a shit I don't care about it um, I believe in the many more guidelines that's it really um, and if you don't want to follow them okay and if you do brilliant um, but I'm really not interested in reading it or looking at it or talking about it anymore because whatever and that video that I watched the girl made obviously I've just talked all about that and that's bullshit too and I don't really I don't care either um, but this is yeah this is the only time I'm gonna talk about this because um, I just keep getting questions about it and seeing it everywhere um, so yeah I hope everybody is well and um, that you all loved my ranting uh, but yeah I it just really annoys me because it's damaging to other people um, it doesn't bother me my personally because I I know what I believe and um, I know enough information to know what I know but um, obviously there's so many other people and I just really really don't want to see other people being derailed from their recovery efforts because I just really don't want that to happen I really want everybody to get out of their eating disorder because it's such a fucking miserable thing and I just think that all this stuff against the minimal guidelines is really really going to damage a lot of people um, but I really really hope that these people do find their way eventually back back to the minimal guidelines um, if anyone does get derailed from it um, please come back because it works honestly so yeah I I hope everybody's well and um, yeah yeah I will um, speak to you all next week